Selamat datang everybody! Today is our very very first day of exploring around Bandung and we would like to invite you to explore this beautiful city together with us. Let's do this! Bandung seems to be a very vibrant, beautiful city full of amazing things to check out. And we were told that there's one bus that we need to go on, it's called Bandros. And we're currently on the lookout for that particular bus. It seems to be like kind of a sightseeing tour bus. Apparently the entry cost to get on the bus is very low. So I think that's exactly what the very first thing that we're going to do is so we can go around the city, check out the different stops and see what we can find out about Bandung. Let's go. So we just walked on onto the Bandros bus uh, we read online that there is only Bahasa Indonesia in terms of tour information so uh, we thought we might just sit outside because we are not going to understand what is going to happen anyway so we're going to sit outside and just enjoy the view Ah, uh, tidak, tidak, terima kasih There's these cool little puppet thingies, no? <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to sit outside and enjoy the view uh, I believe it's like 20,000 uh, rupiah per person so yeah, very affordable, a little bit over a, a euro per person and let's just see what Bandung has to offer because we have no idea. It's definitely a great thing I think for uh, tourists regardless of the language that's spoken because it's going to take us around to different points of interest within the city and uh, we'll very quickly sort of understand the layout, the structure of Bandung city. So very very good and um, definitely going to be a positive experience for sure. Tidak, makasi! He had very good looking uh, fruit. I was considering for a second to buy maybe a mango or something like that but I think we're gonna have something nice to eat later in the video so we don't need any snacks right now. <laughs> By the way just so you guys know uh, you don't have to book any tickets in advance or anything like that. There is no real schedule when it comes to these buses it just sort of seems to be working off of um, as soon as the bus is full, it just goes, it just leaves basically. And uh, all of these buses, there were three buses in a row or four buses in a row and three of them filled up really, really fast. Uh, I believe this one here is the last one. It's already starting to fill up. So uh, yeah, just show up at the Alun Alun area and uh, the bus just leaves when it's full. <laughs> A lot of people see how excited we are, so they're waving. <laughs> they just have to be careful while driving the scooter waving. Is, I don't know how dangerous that is. The tour is well on the way. We're having an absolute blast. It's really, really good. We're laughing, talking with some of the people on the bus. This is perfect. Don't let the fact that they are not speaking your particular language stop you. Come and take the Bangros. Just have a look at this. Get some really beautiful views along, along the way as well. This is amazing. <laughs> Now, Bandung is often referred to as Paris Van Java, so the Paris of Java. And we can see why already. We just went down Jalan Braga on the Bandros. Absolutely beautiful. The vibe, the atmosphere, the architecture, everything. Very, very beautiful. And a very European feel to a lot of this city as well plenty of Indonesian feel as well because Indonesia is the best. Bandung is absolutely beautiful and uh, first impression so far really shocked by just how amazing it is. Hello! Hello! People are so friendly as well. It's amazing. I know that uh, Luke just told you guys the story about how uh, Bandung is referred to as the Paris of Java but I sort of feel like the vibe that Bandung is giving is so so unique and I wouldn't even want to compare it to a place like Paris. I feel like it's so so special to be here and it's very very different if you if you ask me and I would actually prefer to be in Bandung rather than Paris any day of the year, so yeah, put Bandung on your travel list, not Paris. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> and we are back in the Alun Alun area. Um, I don't know how long was the tour approximately. I want to say maybe it was like a good forty minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, forty really minutes. Good. Well, well worth the money for twenty thousand. Twenty thousand IDR per person. You can't go wrong. And we kind of got like a full sort of visual map now of what Bandung actually yeah. looks like. So I think we're ready to go and explore on foot. And even though we didn't really understand the context as to what was said on the tour, it was fun by itself. Uh, we saw the city and uh, the bus is definitely good fun because it keeps like shaking you up and down. Uh, so it's really, really fun. And uh, yeah, a lot of tourists here as well. Seems like some uh, local tourists mixed with Westerners there, travel group. Uh, Amazing. We love, we love Bandung so far. The general vibe and the whole like atmosphere of this city is fantastic. Really nice. Very, very good. Siang. Siang. Ooh, Ooh, yang panas. Panas. Yeah. Pandros. Panas. Panas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, satu. Satu. Satu, yeah. satu pasang. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks so tasty. This is the cake for Bandung. Yeah. Yeah. Cake from nice. Bandung. Bandros. Nice. Bandros. From Bandung. Yeah. Like, uh, like bus. <laughs> like like the bus. bus. Oh, bus. The bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bandros. Bandros. Yeah. Alun, alun. Similar, yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. Sama sama, terima kasih. Ya, sama sama. Nice. Oh, it's really hot. Panas, panas. Hot? Really hot on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a recycled document oh. of some sort. <laughs> Kue Bandros. So Kue this is like Bandros. the. It's very hot. It's very hot. Let's wait for a sec for it to cool yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a little bit. Okay, we reached eating temperature of the Bandros cake. Kue Bandros. So it's sort of. It's like a, a dough, a fried dough that is basically filled with a coconut topped off with sugar from what I understood. It looks really, really nice. Also smells really good. Mm. Wow, this is really nice. Mm. Not too sweet. It's good that he added the sugar. I think without the sugar, it would be a little bit more on the savory side. Mm. This is really good. You want to try? Okay. Kuei bandros. Enak. Mantul, eh? Mantul. Nice. Delicious. <laughs> well, I didn't try it yet. I'm speaking way too soon. But have a look at this, guys. Absolutely coated in sugar. So this is a sweet treat for the middle of our exploration. Come on now. This is really good. Mm. The texture of it is fantastic. Really, really nice. Very, very nice. Bagus. You want some? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's fantastic. The texture of it is really interesting. It's totally different to anything else that I've tried cake wise. We've had a lot of cake since we've arrived in Indonesia because there's bakeries everywhere. And um, it's the same in Bandung, similar to Jakarta. Jakarta has bakeries literally on every corner almost, it feels like. And Bandung is similar. They love their baked goods. You guys love your baked goods here in Indonesia. And I can see why. Kue Bandros, enak, enak, mantul, really good. I'm gonna be saving some of this for later as well. Right now we're making our way to Jalan Braga which is one of the significant streets of Bandung, something that you apparently have to walk down. And uh, we're gonna go and check that area out. Right now we're in a little bit of like a side street, 
yeah. and um, it's such a picturesque city I love walking around here we're taking so many uh, pictures yeah 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 100% we came uh, to this little bit of a side street because the main street was quite loud with the amount of traffic there and uh, but this one here is really really beautiful look there's bird cages <laughs> hello permissi uh, yeah this street is really nice a little bit more on the quiet side in comparison to the main streets and uh, very very beautiful to walk down hello <laughs> We accidentally walked ourselves into a little bit of a back alley, I believe, on our way to uh, Jalan Braga. And check this out. It's a really nice little street with these cute little alleyways where people live. I think it's a very like charming back street, no? Very charming. It's literally like something out of like a Japanese cartoon, like Studio Ghibli or something like that. It is like uh, the way it's constructed, you have like all of the, some houses are like on the more modern side, some houses are on like a colonial side, but it gives off like this real sort of charm to it. It's amazing. And it's these streets here are the best. If you're going like walking around the city of Bandung, try and take like a side trip into some of these side streets. The main streets are beautiful as well, but they're very, very wide. And there's a lot of traffic obviously because it's a busy city. But in these side streets is where you're going to find the real charm of the city. It's amazing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Check out these cute little alleyways. On the, on the big streets, there is so, so much traffic going on. So it's quite loud all of the time. And obviously you have a lot of cars and scooters. But here it sort of seems to be a little bit more like laid back and uh, slow living, I want to say. C complete contrast to the other side of uh, Bandung to the main streets of Bandung and you also have some restaurants here wow this is so cool so Kampong Braga I didn't re actually realize that there would be a Kampong Braga because I saw Jalan Braga when we were on the Bandros tour and I was like we have to get off and check that street out because it looks like a very significant street for Bandung and this is Kampong Braga so we're actually about to cross into it it says on Google Maps that we have to cross over this bridge and uh, this is the welcome sign, so let's go and check it out. <laughs> let's go and see Kampung Braga. A little bit of a river situation going on here. Whoa. <laughs> Very local area, I think. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. We just said that the flags are really cool. The entire kampung seems to be having up the flags for uh, Merdeka, for the Independence Day still. Very, very nice. Look at the art. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Braga. So welcome to Jalan Braga. We just literally entered the street and right now we're about to head in to grab ourselves a quick cup of coffee. You have the, band, the Bandros here, which we were just on as you guys know. But uh, we're gonna head inside to a Warung Lima Rasa and grab ourselves maybe a coffee, maybe a snack. And then we're gonna go and explore Jalan Braga. Let's go. <laughs> coffee is absolutely amazing so we basically as you guys saw we came inside we had a little chat with one of the guys here and um, he made us some like manual brew coffee some amazing arabica coffee we also ordered some pastries so have a look guys there's also live music here which is amazing the vibe the atmosphere the way that this place is laid out the whole sort of decoration on the inside I'm telling you what guys we are absolutely falling in love with Bandung, Indonesia, and it's only our first day here, so this is incredible. But have a look at these pastries. 
How amazing do those pastries look? Yeah, they just put it into a little oven to warm them up and they look so, so tasty. Especially the one here. Uh, this one looks like it might have some, I don't know. I want to say maybe cranberries or something. I don't know. We have to figure out what is what after I manage to open this water, maybe. <laughs> this coffee is fantastic. I'm just trying the pastries here. Mm. They are so good, so tasty. Oh my God. I cannot wait to try the other one, this one here. Seems to be a little bit of like a almond brioche or something like that. And I also just poured myself a coffee, which was very, very hot. I have to wait a little bit, but I think Luke already tried this. It's amazing. Mm. This one has uh, notes of dark chocolate, like bitter chocolate. It's so good. Wow, La Warung Limarasa. That place was very good. Really good coffee, very friendly staff, and the little cakes that we had, very delicious as well. Now, we're gonna go for a little bit of an evening stroll. It's right around 5 p.m. right now here in Bandung. Go for a, like an evening walk, I wanna say, along Jalan Braga. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the rest of this amazing evening. This place is really beautiful. Wow. Have a look at this. That's beautiful. Jalan Braga is a very special street, I have to say. A lot of the architecture all along here is very special. There's so many sort of specialty coffee shops and um, very modern places as well. And I have to say, we're very blown away by the beauty of this particular area. Plus there's like quite a bit of traffic, but it's not too bad. And you have like these actual sort of pavement sidewalks. So it really does feel like you can get a nice walk in and you can walk all over this particular area of the city of Bandung, which we really, really love. There's, we love exploring cities on foot it's really is the best way to do things and this whole street here is just fantastic you're never going to run out of options of places to go yeah it seems like uh, jalan braga is sort of specialized for food and coffee but it's not i mean obviously you have a starbucks here on the street but the majority of the co coffee shops here seem to be like artisan type of coffee so you can get like specialty from different areas around indonesia which i think is really really cool and you can just caffeinate yourself through the streets until you don't know where is up and where is down you're just gonna be like ah oh, that's the state that Luke and I are in right now <laughs> exactly my hand is literally shaking because of how strong the coffee was so we were pretty much walking all day today and we didn't really have that much food so we came to Sudirman street uh, which seems to be a lot of different stalls mixed together on a very very close uh, space very small space and you can basically just eat your way through the street and it looks very very nice so let's get some food from the outside i thought it was small it's actually not small it's not a small space where the stalls are mixing it actually goes all the way down this side and then you have another side street here to the right as well so i think it's a lot larger than we anticipated yep. and there's so much choice uh, there's so many nice smells in the air right now and we need to make a choice and i'm already kind of nervous because i don't know what to eat uh, we need to see get an overview first everything looks and smells <laughs> truly amazing some satay going on over here Satay ayam or pork? Oh, pork, babi. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, still, uh, right. Satay, stimmt. <laughs> satay babi. We haven't had satay babi yet. 60k mm. for 10 pieces. Nice, you want to try some? Yes, please. Okay, uh, satay babi. Satu. Satu, yeah. And um, you want like a nasi or something? You want a uh, rice with it? Uh, ini ada babi asap, sama samchan bakar. Jadi dua menu, jadi satu di sini. Sebelah, sebelah. Oh. What do you one? think? Do you sell Batagor? 
No, okay. <laughs> nasi mix. Nasi mix, satu nasi porsi. Mix. Nasi mix satu, satu mininya satu porsi, sama mau ada tambahan yang lain lagi. Okay guys, so sitting down now. Naomi actually just went off to try and get ourselves some drinks because the drinks are kind of sold separately to the food. Now we're gonna get some uh, pork satay, which is the first time that we've had pork since we've arrived in Indonesia. It's typically not sold so much here. And um, we also got some of this here, kerupuk. Looks really good. And we also, as well, got a nasi mix, so uh, kind of like a nasi gila almost. Basically, um, a whole combination of different stuff on a plate of rice. Both of us are very hungry because we have been walking around now for quite some time. Bandung is an incredible city. Really, really, it's blowing us away, to be honest. It's so developed, so friendly. All of the people that are here are incredible. and. Um, the general sort of layout of the city is super, just fantastic. We really enjoyed the Bandros bus as well today, and now cannot wait to try some of this food too. Oh, and the Bandros cake today, that was really, really, really delicious. But uh, yeah, counting down the seconds now to try some of this street food here. And uh, we still have to try Batagor. I'm sure we will get around to trying it, but uh, let us know down below where to have the best Batagor in Bandung city. So we just absolutely devoured that food. It was really, really out of this world, to be honest. This market is very interesting. So they do sell a lot of pork and it seems to be catered towards uh, Chinese, maybe Thai tourists. So if you are a foreigner and you are visiting Bandung and you are looking for something a little bit different, I would definitely come and check out this uh, this night market. I think it's a day and night market actually, so very, very good. There's plenty of other options as well. So this whole area here, you do have a lot of places that don't sell pork as well, if that is something that you're looking for. So they do have like halal style places too. Uh, so keep that in mind. It is friendly for everybody involved. But uh, what we basically had was a nasi mix, which was basically rice and then everything that the shop had basically thrown on top. It was really, really tasty. We also had a pork satay, and that was very, very good, very tender and juicy. And we also had some uh, rinds as well, some ketuprak or kerupuk. I think it's a pork ketuprak, so uh, krupuk. Krupuk. It's like, it's like krupuk, like kerupuk, it yeah. says on the label. Uh, babi, babi is pork. And um, I just bought three bags of these because I kind of missed eating pork and this is just so, so tasty. Listen to this. It's so good. Yep. And um, the food here is absolutely out of this world. I tried this, I made a mistake. I tried the sambal by itself and it was so spicy. I really like burned my mouth. I had to drink like two liters of lychee tea immediately because it was really, really spicy. I didn't expect it spicier than other sambals. I don't know if it was like the specialty of the shop because they had like sambal advertised. I think it was a speciality of this shop that we went to, but really, really good food, absolutely amazing. Um, also affordable, and we didn't expect to actually find pork in this market. We weren't really sure what to expect walking in here. We thought it was just your normal pasar uh, malam or night and day market. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a mix so for everybody. Uh, it's nice because people from all uh, backgrounds come together here, so it's really cool. It is really amazing, guys, and uh, yeah. First day in Bandung, first day exploring Bandung properly, um, definitely must recommend city for you guys to come and check out. If you are sort of coming to Java and you're wondering how to map out your trip along Java, add Bandung to your list, this place is really cool.